After years of war and genocide, there's been a breakthrough for peace in Darfur, and we want you to be a part of it. In the heart of Darfur, at a strategic crossroads of ancient trade routes, the town of El Malam has been a thriving community for centuries. El Malam was a place where members of different tribes in the region could come together to trade and drink tea together in peace. But in 2004, civil war erupted in Darfur. That war came to El Malam, and tribes that once lived together in peace turned on each other. The government in Khartoum persuaded Arab tribes to attack and displace the African tribes. Much of El Malam was destroyed, including the El Malam market, the hospital, and schools. Entire villages in the region were destroyed, Fur villages and Beni Mansour villages. And thousands of people were forced to flee the violence in the El Malam region and leave their homes and their livelihoods behind. For the past eight years, they've lived in vast displacement camps outside of Niala in South Darfur and in Chad. Forced to leave their homes and farms behind, the once self-sufficient members of the Fur Tribe now depend on food aid from America and Europe. Then in 2011, a desire for peace became evident. Maki Maki, the Institute's Sudan project manager, returned to Darfur for the first time in 10 years. Maki, who grew up in El Malam, undertook a bold peace-building project. Uh, I left my uh, home since 2000, uh, from Darfur to Khartoum and from Khartoum to Egypt because I was a student activist in the uh, Germanic Islamic University and I have been arrested by the security that because uh, I'm a part of uh, some opposition uh, in Khartoum and they not uh, let me to do my activities. I applied for the refugee office in uh, Egypt and after that they approved my case and they let me come to the United States. After I came here, I joined the Institute for Sustainable Peace in 2008. Uh, through these uh, years, I learned a lot uh, with the Institute and three workshops, how to do the reconciliation between uh, people in conflict. And I learned about a lot of skills of uh, peace building and capacity building, and that thing, they helped me a lot to achieve this uh, kind of reconciliation in my hometown. Mucky was there in the right place, at the right time, with the right tools and the right skills. Remarkably, the entire population of El Malam participated in meetings which Mucky arranged. Many displaced people returned to El Malam for the first time in years. The current residents welcomed their displaced neighbors and encouraged them to return. Even members of the nomadic Janjaweed participated. Members of the local, regional, and state government participated in these meetings in El Malam. One of the top priorities of the working group is to rebuild the El Malam market, both as a means of stimulating the economy and because it was a place for tribes to gather in peaceful interaction. As news of the reconciliation spread, traders and merchants began to return to El Malam. But due to the destruction of many of the buildings in the market, the traders display their produce and wares on blankets under trees. Repair and reconstruction of the market will attract more business and will improve productivity and profits. Your donations will make it possible for these resilient Darfurians to rebuild and revitalize their community. When Colin Powell visited the displacement camps, he remarked of the Darfurians, these people do not need aid. They need to be able to return home and they know how to take care of themselves. OSC formal arable hiding in the Marla Mountain heard that peace was breaking out in El Malam. He returned to trade in the market for the first time since the war being in Darfur. Many young adults did not attend school because of the war. Your contribution will make it possible for young adults to be retained and employed to do their work for rebuilding the town and villages. Your gift will help 20,000 people to return back to their homes and improve their lives. If you invest today, the displaced children of El Malam will be able to go home to a brighter future. They'll be able to return to school. The mothers and daughters of El Malam will be able to return and not fear for their lives and the lives of their children. Partner with us today and with the people of Darfur 
as they envision and build sustainable peace. The Institute for Sustainable Peace has been invited to return to Darfur, to come to Al Malam and to put on workshops providing capacity building for others like Mucky who can go back to their hometowns, to their villages, and pursue their own breakthroughs for peace. This could indeed be the end of genocide in Darfur.